hello guys welcome back to another video in this video we are going to cover question number 31 if you have missed out the solution to the previous videos the entire link is in the description box below for the playlist and also the link to the paper is available there if you don't want to miss out the future videos hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you get notification whenever a new video is shared without further ado let's get started this is a some where we are required to classify the various items which are given in the question under the major heads and subheads of the balance sheet as per the schedule 3 right the first one that we have loose tools okay where do we classify that loose tools now loose tools is classified under the head current assets under that we have inventories there okay that is where we classify loose tools okay it comes under inventories under the head current assets loose tools done next one that we have is loan repayable on demand okay again on demand word to be noted here so if it is on demand it becomes a current liability and this is shown under the head short term borrowings here under this okay third one provision for retirement benefits now this is a provision for retirement benefits it's the liability for the company and retirement are long term things right so it comes under the head non current liabilities under the head long term provisions here okay fourth one prepaid insurance prepaid insurance it goes under current assets under the head other current assets all right any prepaid item goes there then we have capital advances again advances were to be noted here these are advances given by the company so it comes under the head non current assets here we have long term loans and advances under this okay and the last one shares in listed companies again don't get confused by the word shares this is not the share capital this is an investment done in listed companies in the shares of listed companies so it also goes under the head non-current assets and under non-current investments all right hope this was helpful if this helped you to understand clarify your concepts hit the like button and do let me know in the comments box below what is the new thing that you learned from this video any key learning that is there or key takeaways thanks for watching we'll catch you all in the next video with the next series of sums that we have stay tuned for more thanks